Hello everyone and shout out to my Cerebralize. It is she the Cerebral Diva and she is back and officially in the building with a brand new video for your listening and your viewing pleasure. That is pleasure times too. How could you go wrong with that? Today we have a juicy story. I'm talking about salivating, wearing a bib, grabbing your napkins. It's a juicy story. Um, and you know for me personally, I try to keep my nose out of other people's business. I really do. But in this particular case, I have at least one and a half nostrils and a bridge invested in this story so my full nose isn't there but I, i'm definitely smelling what's happening over here oh girl did you hear what they were saying on social media it was all over honey it was facebook instagram twitter everywhere honey it's a trendy topic it's a trendy topic it's a trendy topic it's a trendy topic, it's a trendy topic. <laughs> so that story is ti and tiny versus sabrina peterson this story is a mess of epic proportions and i heard about this story a couple of days ago and i didn't really talk about it just because it didn't really seem that significant to me and not saying that a man putting a gun to a woman's head or to any human being's head for that matter is not important but for whatever reason it just didn't um it just didn't grab me so Sabrina is alleging that T.I. put a gun to her head. Now, I really don't know the circumstances in terms of why that happened. And even if I did know the circumstances, I really can't think of one that would um, give just cause for a man to put a gun to a woman's head. So I'll say that first of all. Now, Sabrina is essentially saying, you know, T.I. is out here creating PSAs, talking about sex trafficking and trying to be this, this activist. And... You know, playing devil's advocate here, people can, you can play both sides of the coin, right? Uh, I don't necessarily believe in absolutes. Like, I don't believe that anyone is absolutely evil and anyone is absolutely good. I think that both can coexist within the same person. So even though T.I. seems to be trying to rebrand himself, now he's growing and maturing. So I'm going to at least give him an opportunity for change, at least an opportunity. Not necessarily saying that I'm buying it wholly, but I'm gonna at least give him room and space to grow and to adapt to, you know, his newfound understanding of, of the world that the, the ever changing world, so to speak. Now, back to the story. So when I heard about T.I. putting a gun to Sabrina's head, I immediately thought, yep, he did it. And I'll tell you why I think he did it. The reason I think T.I. is the type of man that would put a gun to a woman's head is because T.I. is the type of man who would take his daughter to the gynecologist and validate whether or not her hymen has been broken. And to me, that speaks volumes about how he feels um, empowered to control women, to dominate women. And to me, even though those two things, some people might may not feel are directly correlated, for me, it definitely creates a, a pathology, if you will, when I think about T.I. You know, the type of guy who takes his starter to the gynecologist to validate whether or not her hymen has been broken is the type of man who is, for lack of a better term, a dog. And one thing that a dog hates is, is to be dog. <laughs> is to be dog and so ti doesn't really necessarily care about deja's virginity in my personal opinion what ti is concerned about is his rep in the streets and so if his daughter is out here not behaving um in a con in conduct becoming of a young lady it reflects poorly on him and so he doesn't want that so i don't even necessarily think that it's out of genuine concern for deja i think it's really just a, ma a matter of protecting his reputation so to speak and now <clears throat> back to sabrina that's kind of why i feel like he did put a gun to her hand because he feels that he is empowered to exact control over women we know he does so over Tiny. We've seen her, him dominate Tiny for years. Tiny is probably like on the same level of a, a Mimi from Love and Hip Hop for me when it comes to a woman with backbone. She is just a, an amoeba in my personal opinion. And that's not me judging her character. I'm just, she just doesn't seem like the type of woman who's able to stand up for herself and really put her foot down and draw a clear line in the sand and make sure that it's not crossed. I just don't get that vibe from her. So after Sabrina came out and made these accusations against T.I., Tanya essentially circled back around and said, oh baby, not my man. 
<laughs> Maybe it's somebody else's man, but you will not do that to the king. Yes, the king, not the king, but the king. Uh, so Tiny essentially circled back around and she's defending T.I. And now Sabrina is upset about Tiny defending T.I., which I do not understand. To me, that should have been expected. Troop, and to actually say what happened to me, I'm not doing anyone a disservice at that. I'm speaking on my truth. The same way my truth is that I went to prison. The same way my truth is that I used to dance. The same way my truth is that I'm a single mother. That is my truth. I pray that today, every single woman that has a fabric or a fiber of her truth that may not sit well with how people want to idolize people, I pray that you stand up in your truth. But the part that's disheartening and hurt more hurtful than anything else is that the woman that I stood for, the woman the, 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 one, the, the, fr the quote unquote friend whose back I had is now turned around and saying the things you're saying, you're disgusting. You're a disgusting individual. You are disgusting. Don't ever let loyalty kill your moral compass. Don't ever let money kill, kill, kill the person you are within. Don't ever let that happen. You know what happened. I know what happened. And I don't understand how you got these big old balls of steel because you know me. You know me. More than you know me, you know me. And I'm, I'm the smallest bit of your worries. Glory to God. Hey, but I thank God. Honda BBBI shot. God, look on right now. Now the two of them, all three of them were at one point really good friends. And so Sabrina feels slighted by Tiny because Tiny is not validating her claims and standing by T.I. Now, that's a head scratcher for me. Um, you know, I just don't understand how Sabrina would think that a woman who is incapable of, of standing up for herself would stand up for you. Like, those two things <laughs> don't, it, it doesn't match. It's not as polka dots and stripes, right? So, I don't understand why Sabrina is surprised that T.I. is being defended by Tiny. Just not a big surprise. Now, not only is T.I. being defended by Tiny, here comes Shekinah, Shekinah Joe. <laughs> and Shekinah is, I don't know if they were necessarily, if they're necessarily best friends, but you know, they've had a television show together. So uh, Shekinah and Tiny have been friends for quite some time. They've had a podcast. So Shekinah decided that she wanted to add her two cents into the fray. Now for me personally, if I were Tiny and T.I., I would say, listen, <laughs> She kind of just keep your mouth closed. She kind of goes onto Instagram and essentially, in my opinion, validates every single thing that Sabrina is claiming because she's basically, and when I say she, she kind of is basically stating that um, Sabrina was sort of the recruiter. She wants Tiny. <clears throat> she, she, she obsessed with Tiny. Like, she wants Tiny to be her girlfriend. Now, listen, this is my thing. If it came out, the tip pulled a gun on her, right? How do we change from tip, tip not the victim no more, tip is the victim and Tiny now is the lady. How do we go from that? So she done got mad at Tamika for taking the husband. He go the whole goddamn thing. She has a problem. She ain't talked about nothing about how she Tamika and tip. I said what I said. <laughs> Why she ain't talking about how she done suck Why we ain't talking about that? Let's get into it. <laughs> yeah, y'all want to talk about that? Get into it. I'm trying to figure out why she ain't told y'all about she wanted the women who used to go recruit them. What's up? Hey. <laughs> hey. Now they're going to If you will, for young women to bring them into these um, salacious relationships with T.I. and Tiny. Um, so, and again, I'm trying to choose my words carefully here, people, because YouTube does not play. <laughs> so, um, Shekinah is essentially alleging that Sabrina was going out and doing their bidding and bringing women in. And so now Sabrina is clapping back with claims from women who are essentially, you know, making posts on her Instagram page about their experience with T.I. and Tiny. And this is really turning into surviving T.I. If, if you ask me, this is growing every single day and more and more people are beginning to come out. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens because in that rebranding process, T.I. has created this whole family hustle brand. You know, like I said, he's trying to be active politically. And it's going to be interesting to see how this 
new information affects him moving forward. I don't see how he can continue on VH1 with a quote-unquote family-oriented show now that these allegations are coming to light, whether they're true or not, substantiated or not. I just don't know whether or not VH1 will want to continue a relationship, having, especially in today's current climate. But I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens there. Anyhow, you guys, I want to know what you guys think of this story. I'm watching it closely. I want to hear what happens. You know, this is, you know, better than reality TV because this is reality. Um, I really want to see what happens and how this unfolds. Having said that, and you know, one of the things that I find interesting, right, before I go, is that typically if someone is making false allegations about you, what is the first thing that a celebrity does? <laughs> Cease and desist, right? They call their attorneys, they're on top of it. Why hasn't T.I. shut her down? Why hasn't he? And the reason he hasn't shut her down is because she's telling the truth. So having said that, you guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. Um, as always, in closing, people, remember to live better, love harder, and think smarter. It is she, the cerebral diva. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Go take a hot shower. Do whatever you need to do to watch the spirit of this story off of you because it's just nasty. Bye.